iconic fashion moments, the Chanel chain dress. In today's episode of Iconic Fashion Moments, we're going to be taking a look at a dress that has recently been making major waves online. The dress in question, this black chain dress from the Chanel Haute Couture Spring Summer 1992 collection. There's no denying that it isn't as well known as other fashion moments we've looked at on this channel so far, but it's still interesting to look at the evolution of this gorgeous ensemble, as well as its recent rise in online popularity. Let's get into it. The Chanel brand has been an undeniable fashion juggernaut since its inception back in 1910, and it'd be tough for someone today to think of a time when Chanel wasn't everyone's point of reference when it came to high fashion. But did you know that back in the 1970s, they were actually in a huge slump? Following the death of designer Coco Chanel in 1971, the brand was seen as old and dated becoming more known for its perfume than its clothing. It wasn't until 1983, when Karl Lagerfeld was hired as chief designer, that the company was able to see some semblance of popularity again. Lagerfeld once told the New York Times, quote, Everybody said, don't touch it. It's dead. It will never come back. But by then I thought it was a challenge. While Lagerfeld respected many of the brand's classic motifs and would often pay homage to Coco Chanel's past work, he would often subvert expectations by injecting modernity into his designs. He was often praised for his unique understanding of younger demographics and for taking popular trends and raising them to new levels of sophistication. Under his leadership, the tweed, pearls, and interlocking seas that had become dated were seen as trendy once again. And by the time the 90s rolled around, the Chanel brand had been fully invigorated, with Lagerfeld becoming becoming more and more experimental with their image as time passed. For his 1992 Spring Summer Haute Couture collection for Chanel, Lagerfeld dressed supermodel Christy Turlington in the beautiful black dress that featured large gold chains, camellias, and jewels. The ensemble was not only a clever way of updating the classic little black dress that had been Chanel's claim to fame, but it was also a brilliant marketing move that drew focus to Chanel's costume jewelry, which at the time was the brand's most profitable product. The dress was later chosen as part of Chanel's ad campaign that season and was worn by Naomi Campbell in print. Although Lagerfeld designed thousands of articles of clothing over the course of his career, the elevated simplicity of this dress continues to stand the test of time. Sailor Moon One of the most important manga of all time, Sailor Moon was not only a staple of the magical girl genre, but was also incredibly influential when it came to fashion and incorporating it into the story. While the Sailor Scouts are remembered for their color-coordinated uniforms, their other clothing was just as important and just as stylish. Naoko Takeuchi, writer and illustrator of the series, was a huge fan of high fashion and would often incorporate haute couture designs into her work, referencing brands like Mugler, Yves Saint Laurent, and Christian Dior. In an illustration book released in 1996 for the series, Sailor Pluto is shown wearing a black dress with gold chains and jewels, an exact replica of the Chanel dress. The Guardian of the Underworld, she wears a black-themed sailor suit and uses a garnet rod as her primary weapon, which are cleverly referenced in the Chanel dress. While the character's role in the anime is relatively small compared to the other Sailor Scouts, she is depicted as loving fashion and often wears more sophisticated clothing, including this purple two-piece suit that is also a reference to Chanel. Broken Embraces In the 2009 film Broken Embraces, Penelope Cruz is shown wearing the Chanel dress while getting ready for a party. In the film, she plays Magdalena Rivero, a beautiful aspiring actress who eventually becomes the mistress of a millionaire, Ernesto Martel. Living in Madrid in 1994, Lena and Ernesto's relationship grows increasingly toxic, with Ernesto incredibly possessive of Lena, which eventually culminates in the death of her and her lover. Because the film was set in the 1990s, costume designer Sonia Grande used the personal closets of friends to cover a large portion of the wardrobe, but Chanel actually supplied the black evening dress themselves. The dress was incredibly crucial to the scene in question, as it was symbolic of Lena's change in circumstance. She was a woman who had been bought by power and money, and had transformed into someone else. The costume designer said, quote, Her character had to be beautiful, without us forgetting that elegance can be a direct route to sadness. Magdalena has been born with a tragic fate, a fatal sentiment that accompanies her, that floods the movie and drags the fate of the rest of the characters, like the heroines in Greek tragedies. 
Director Pedro Almodovar regularly uses clothing as a storytelling device, and throughout Broken Embraces, we see Magdalena's clothing represent her circumstances. In an interview with the New York Times, Almodovar said, quote, For me, fashion in a film has two very important aspects. On the one hand, it establishes aesthetically the film, because color is important. On the other hand, costumes give information about the character, the work they do, their state of being, how they feel. Costumes are anything but superficial elements of a film, something that I couldn't agree with more. The Met Gala For the 2019 Met Gala, whose theme was Camp, Notes on Fashion, actress Lily Rose Depp wore the black Chanel dress as an ode to supermodel glamour of the 1990s. Although I don't think the look was very fitting for the theme in question, there's no denying that Lily looks absolutely stunning, and the dress itself looks just as elegant now as it did then. The ensemble also solidified her role as a Chanel girl and ambassador. TikTok when I first saw the Chanel dress making the rounds on TikTok, it was often mistaken as a Versace design, which, although quite funny, is somewhat understandable because of Versace's penchant for gold and sex appeal. And even in the 90s, they also had a somewhat similar black dress making the rounds. However, it's in the little details, like the camellias, that make this clearly Chanel. More recently, we've seen the dress come back on the app in the form of designer dupes and DIY projects. A large part of its rise in popularity could be attributed to it having been worn by Lily Rose Depp, who is considered a fashion icon by the younger generation, or it could be the result of a desire for excess and glamour after being trapped inside in sweatpants for the better part of a year. Either way, it's interesting to see how well a design has held up to the times, and how something that once could have only been accessible to the rich and famous can now be worn to prom. What are your thoughts on the Chanel chain dress, and what iconic fashion moment would you like to see me cover next? I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!